Hi, I'm Jo from eSkippy Quilting. Welcome to my channel. And today's tutorial is going to be all about preparing your quilt top ready for quilting. Don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. That would be great. So let's get to it. So here I am. This is my, well, this is the uh, uh, lap quilt that we're going to prepare to quilt. So what you will notice, and I hope that you can see here, is I've had, it's called a quilt sandwich. Um, and I've used the same backing fabric as I've used on the border simply because I had it um, and I've, I have actually pieced it there but that's um, for another time um, so you've got I've ironed it as well so you've got that face down and then there's some cotton batting here now I, I like to use this cotton batting because it drapes nice some people do use polyester wadding, but I personally don't like that one because it moves as it's going through the sewing machine when you're trying to quilt. And also it's got, um, it's quite stiff as well. I, I like the, uh, the cotton batting the best. And then I've laid the quilt on top of that. So hence the quilt sandwich. Right, so it's all nice and flat. Obviously, I've also ironed the top as well and I've pulled out all those little bits of threads that seem to appear um, once you've once you've completed it. So um, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see. I will try and bring it to the camera. So these are proper basting, quilting basting pins. I hope you can see that. They do have a slight bend there um, and that's to help the pin go through the um, go through the quilt and all the three layers and um, also I would like to point out that under this I do have my cutting mats underneath and that's purely so that when I'm putting my pins in that I'm not scratching the top of the, um, the unit that I use here. Now you can also use this which is a, a quilt basting spray um, if I'm honest, it's probably not my preferred method of basting. Um, I like to pin. Um, so what you would do is you would spray, um, you would you would spray your backing um, or your batting, place that on top, and then you would then spray the the um, the batting and then place your your quilt top on top. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just not a fan of this. One, because I, I think that the glue will come off on the needle as it's going through the machine when I'm quilting it. Um, and also, this seems to like leave a bit of a, a yellowy residue. Um, but, you know, it's an option. Uh, and when I do use it, I make sure that I use it outside um, so I can spray well, obviously, when there's no wind. Um, and uh, I, I will use it outside rather than inside because... Yeah, I don't want to be walking around my sewing room sticking to the carpet. Right, so we know, we're now ready to pin baste this quilt. Um, it can be uh, quite time consuming, but if it's done right, it will save a lot of headache. Um, you know, if it's all nice and flat and you pin it well. Um, so with these pins, then I always, always start from the middle. It's all nice and flat. And obviously you just then stick the pin in all th through all the layers and then I'll work my way out. Uh, now the space between the pins I like to leave about a hand width like that because as, as you're quilting it the pins will be coming out. So I'll just carry on with that. Work your way around, work, work your way out. I would, I'll work my way from the middle out to the border. So that's what I'll do now. So I can continue pinning this. One thing that I, I would like to say is um, you'll probably notice that I've cut the backing 
and the batting larger than the quilt so ideally um, a couple of inches all the way around uh, for, for the backing and the batting uh, two inches larger than the quilt and so the reason that we cut the batting and the backing larger than the quilt is during that quilting process it does pull the backing and the batting in um, so it just gives a little bit of leeway um, during that quilting process I just wanted to point out as well that with these pins I use like a, a medium size pin I've got uh, larger pins there in the bottom and I do have some smaller pins um, I find that the smaller pins can be a little bit fiddly especially when you've got plastic nails um, and the larger ones um, I just don't like the holes that they make in the quilt because the, the grade of the steel is slightly uh, thicker. So, yeah, I always go for the medium sized ones. I just thought I'd, uh, I'd point that out. So I've pinned all that centre part of the quilt and I'm just going to start on the borders now. Um, so make sure it's all nice and flat and even. And I, this is how I do it. Um, I start from the middle when I'm doing the border. So I'll pin the border there and then I'll pin on the edge. I'll do that all the way down. take me about 10 minutes and it took me about 30 minutes to do the center of the quilt so I'll come back to you when I've finished it right so I've finished pinning all of my quilt um, and it took me all in all about an hour or just over an hour um, obviously with a bigger quilt it will take you longer um, so we're now ready to take it to the domestic sewing machine to get it quilted.